Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use a scroll bar in Excel. So there are two types of scroll bars. One is a form control and one is an ActiveX control. What I'm going to show first is the form control and it's only used to show the value of a slide position in a cell so you can use it for your math, whatever you're making. The it's not used in VBA, it's just on the on the screen itself and tied in the background through Microsoft Forms. It simplifies and rids you of the need to enter a value in a cell, hit enter, click again, change the value. It allows you just to do a simple incremental change by arrows on either side of the actual slider or doing a page change which increments the number by a lot larger amount to help you um, expedite your clicking, expedite your scrolling of the scroll bar. So here I've got this control connected to cell C8 to represent the value of the slider. That's set up in the format control properties or the format properties of the control so you see here I've got a minimum value of zero. That's the value that will be represented when the scroll bar is all the way to the left or the bottom, depending on your orientation. And a maximum value of 100 when it's on the opposite end. Incremental change is 1 and page change is 10. That's what dictates how much your scroll bar value changes by hitting the arrow or the page. One drawback to this control is that you cannot do a non-integer multiple for the incremental change or the page change. So the workaround I found for that, if I wanted to do the same representation with um, sub-integer values instead of zero to maybe 100%, if I wanted them to be tenth of percent increments, I would change my maximum value to 1,000. Take and divide my scroll bar value by 10 and what I see that I'm changing in much smaller value much smaller amounts and my maximum would now be a hundred percent so you need to hide the, the top value and the one that's divided by a hundred but then or divided by 10 would now show your actual percentage in tenth of percent increments so the other control I mentioned is the ActiveX control which you get both of these by going to the developer tab if you don't have the developer tab visible in your application, just click File. I believe it's. Uh, let's see, I think it's General, maybe. No, it's Data. Let's try Data or Form. Uh, somewhere in here to show the developer tab it's in there you have to scroll through those or maybe I'll come back at the end and we'll find that so if we take the ActiveX control for the same scroll bar screen, you're going to see we have different uh, settings in here. We have size, protection, the properties, but we don't have all those min and max and page and increment sizes available to us. So where we're going to find those is by going to our VBA editor. And now we should have this tool that I put it on. We should have this tool available here, scroll bar one. That's the name that you will see associated with this scroll bar if you look at the properties. Scroll bar one. So I could change that to Craig's scroll bar and that will update within VBA. But you'll also see several of those same uh, properties that weren't available in the format of the control are now available here. Smallest change, it's our uh, single increment. The 
change may not be in here. Oh, that matters, but we can change a lot of these within. So if we come in, if I the scroll bar, see how my name is automatically updated. Select it, and let's do something like uh, so. It's rows first, so eight and three for a column for C. That's the cell where we were writing the values of uh, of the uh, form control version. We're going to change the color of that cell equal the scroll bars value that will be its index correct scroll bar Oop. yeah correct scroll bar about value Let's see if that works Turn that off to enable the ActiveX control. But if you look changing, that's because the value is being written there. But I'm not doing anything else with the actual value of this. Let's see if we have anything here. Linked cell. So I can take that cell and make it, let's say, C8. I believe it's going to want an not C8, C13. I think it will want an absolute address. Let's try that. Now you see that changing in the color of the scroll bar index changing up above. So this gives you ability to tie these events also to other actions you may want to see occur. So this is just the scroll bar change. If there's an error, maybe somebody enters a text value. When it gets focus, someone selects it, keys down, lost focus. Maybe when they leave the control, you want it to do something. You get a lot more flexibility with VBA, but maybe a little less understanding of your users on how it will work. So my preference when creating controls on, on systems or applications that I'm going to share on, on YouTube is to use the form control, then there's no VBA, no water for any of the viewers. So anyway, that's my video on scroll bars. If you have any suggestions or comments, let me know. Don't forget to like or subscribe, and let me know what else you'd like to see. Thank you.